putting the pedal to the metal. I'm Mark Kimball and this is E-Biking On, the Kimballism channel. Today's show, does e-biking save you money on gas? This has happened before. Gas prices go out of sight and you need to find a way to save money. And you think there must be another way. I have read so many articles on the subject. All the articles have one thing in common. Everyone lives the same way. They don't take into account about your lifestyle, uh, where you live, weather conditions, easy access to roads to ride, how much is it going to cost? How long will high gas prices last? So let's have a chat. First, the cost. E-bikes range uh, about $1,000 to $15,000. So you need to find a bike that fits your need. Range may be important. So two battery e-bike may be needed. Do you only want a pedal assist or would you want to have the option of a throttle? I could go on, but that's another video. Where you live is so important. I live in New Hampshire with the cold weather, snow, rain, windy conditions, lots of hills. It's not easy getting around to places since things can be spread out. For me, to get to work would mean back roads because I can't ride on the highways. So it would take me at least two hours to go to work each way. Now, e-bikes do take the pain out of cycling, turning long commutes into shorter ones. But if you're traveling 20 miles per hour, how far do you have to travel? Do you need to get up before sunrise or sunset? Are you okay riding in the dark? The question to ask yourself is, can you easily get to work and go shopping? When I go grocery shopping, I go to several places. Now, if I'm going for one thing or if just for a few things, then an e-bike is a great choice. You have to know yourself. Do you see yourself using an e-bike over other transportations? How many days do you think you could use the bike over a car? Is saving gas the only reason to buy an e-bike? If gas prices are about $432 a gallon, that equals about 2,000 miles of charging on your e-bike. But this is after the cost of buying a bike. The better the bike, the more high-end features, the more you pay. You can save money on parking as well, but consider if you can lock up the bike on a safe place or be able to take it inside where you work. For me, I save more money when my company went remote cut my gas in half for the entire year. Is this an option for you? So my point is that looking at your own lifestyle will help you make the choice. For me, I had so many reasons why I wanted to buy an e-bike. It's so much fun to ride. It's great exercise. I love traveling around, seeing all the beautiful places to go on the bike and travel much farther than I could on a normal bike. And yes, I do save money on gas because when I can, I can take my e-bike instead of my car and go for a quick grocery run or go for lunch or dinner. So my advice is to you to do your homework. Search the web, search YouTube, all kind of information on e-bikes. Think about the range, the cost, the style, the quality. You know, visit an e-bike store in your area. You can test ride one of them or rent one for a few hours and see if it's right for you. So I hope this has been helpful. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. And let's wrap up this show with a Kimballism idiom. Just a blip on the dot.